This video will be a quick introduction on how to set up ANSYS, and how to set up the License Manager. To get started, this is the email you will get from Leap, when you purchase a license. In the email you will get the license file, the instructions to set up the license file. There is a link to the ANSYS customer portal and your customer number. In this example license, I have one instance of a mechanical license and one instance of a space claim license. And they have the same customer number. Now let's log into the customer portal. It will ask you for a username and password. Here you will need to enter your email address, your name, your phone number, and your job title. And here, you will have to enter your company name. And this will be the name specified in the email. And if there is an error in the name, please get in contact with Leap. And you will need to correctly specify the customer number. So, these two fields are important that you get right. Once you have filled out the form, you can click register. Once you have entered your details, you will be prompted to enter a password. Create a new password, and select submit. And now you can log in to your account. Now that you have logged into your customer portal account, you can go up to downloads, and select current release. Here you will see a range of different packages you can download. And if you select ISO images, you can download the full release of ANSYS as well. So, in this example we will download just the structures package. Click full package to download. Once you have downloaded the packages you want to use, it will be in zip file format. You will need to extract the files from the zip. Once you have extracted the zip files you can begin the setup. Go into the extracted file and select setup. It will ask for admin privileges so select yes. We want to install ANSYS products, and we want to install the license manager. So, let's start with the products. Specify the install path. Here I've left the location as the default path. You want to skip the step to add a license server, we will configure this later. With this version of ANSYS we can install only the structures. We have explicit mechanics. And we have structural mechanics. So, in this instance for example, let's say that we only want to install explicit and structures. So, we will uncheck electronics. Untick offshore. And untick platform. Normally however, you would usually leave everything selected. And we can leave the geometry interfaces selected. We can configure the CAD geometry interfaces later, or we can manually do them now. If the option to automatically configure the CAD interfaces is there, you will want to do that instead. And here you will see, that these are the programs you will be installing. Select next and the install will start. Once the install is complete you can select next, and then exit. And now you want to install the ANSYS license manager as well. Install path is already selected, so hit next.
Now that the License Manager is installed, we can select Next. And we can launch the License Manager upon exiting. So let's do that. Alternatively, you can launch the License Manager by using the taskbar. You just need to type License, and it will come up here. We want to upload our license file. So, we go back to the email, and download the license file. And as you can see, I've moved the license file to the same location as the structures installer. Go back to the license manager. Select add a license file. Choose the file location. Select Install License File. The license file is now installed, and the license is now running on this computer. We can see that the License Manager is currently running. If we go to the Admin Tools and run the Admin Utility, we can look at the license status. and we can see that the licenses are being read correctly. If we launch Space Claim, we can see that it is running correctly. And with that, Ansys is fully installed and ready to use.